What's my opinion on buying a really nice, expensive car with cash? <laughs> Come on, buddy. This is Risky Richard. We're not going to spend our cash on a car. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to buy us a business. I'm going to show you how. Quick, easy steps. Stay tuned. Get your pen and paper ready. I'm going to tell you how the real big boys and girls do. You stayed at a really nice car, a really expensive car, right? So I'm going to say $40,000, $50,000 car. Okay, instead of you buying that car, this is the play right here. You're going to take that $50,000 and you're going to put it down on an existing business. We don't want to start a business because people who start their own business have a 98% chance that that business wants to see due to thievery, they don't have no track record, and typically they're not experienced. But a business that you buy that's pre-existing, that's been older than 10 years, has a 98% chance of success, and the government will back you up. Come on, let me learn you something. You're going to go online, you're going to go to the SBA, Small Business Administration, and you're going to apply for what's called a 7A business loan. What are the requirements for a SBA 7A? You can buy a 7A business loan with the minimum 10%. 10% of 50000 is $50,000 business. So now we're going to find us an existing business for $500,000 that makes us about $100,000 to $200,000 cash. Let's go find one. Here's a firehouse sub. They want $500,000. You put $50,000 down. You're going to have a balance of $450,000. It cash flows to you. A hundred and thirty thousand, right? So you can put about fifty thousand dollars a day into your payment, so you can walk away with eighty thousand dollars. So here's your gross. This is what the business makes, and this is what cash flows to you. Here's your inventory, your rent, how long it's been established over five years. This is almost eleven years old, so so you know it's been around for a while, and you have twenty two employees. So in year one, you're not going to take any money, right? It's that $88,000 that's left over after you paid your payments and stuff like that, you're going to put back into the business. So about four years, four times eight, that's three hundred something thousand dollars right? And then you pay off that debt, and then that $130,000 you make in a year can come all back to your pocket. And after you make your first year of not paying, not paying off that business, your first year you'll have $130,000. And then... You buy that car for cash. And instead of a expensive car, go get you a Lambo or something. Go get you something cool. Something that's really expensive. You know what I mean? Because now you can afford it. And year after year, you'll have $130,000 that you don't even have to work for because your employee's doing all the work. It's absentee. That's how we do it, boys and girls. That's how the rich get richer. Like and follow for more. Ding!